said it before and I'll say it again. Well, here's a nice CZT in for a custom Dino Days Ecotech map today. Should make some nice power. Looks lovely, doesn't it? I'm really liking the wheels. The wheels look gorgeous. So let's get this on the dyno and uh, see what we could do. Health checks first, obviously. Do some health checks, make sure everything's okay. And we'll start by put a base map on it. Use the Ecotech software. Put that license on the ECU. And then, um, and then from there, We'll start tuning on the dyno, making sure it's all good fuel, etc. I'm pretty sure it is. But it's got some nice mods, as you can see. So uh, this will be a good one. It's always a Honda, ain't there? Oh yeah, this is a nice colt to be in. Check out that steering wheel. That is nice. Some nice gauges. They look well there, don't they? Reversing camera. Hmm. Yeah, I like it though in here. It's nice, it's a good one. Standard power run, here we go. So looking at some of the mods, we've got a nice four jar rest valve. Injet intake, not a fan, but it'll do its job today. Nice gold, nice gold. Well, base maps on after passing health checks so it's done really really well um no no faults found at all bit of a fuel trim code because it wasn't mapped for the engine intake um causes some problems when when not mapped so if you are going to buy one of these um which is expensive and by no means better than the KN induction kit uh, if you are going to buy one of these you have got to get it mapped because the fuel trims are just straight out uh, but yeah past health checks done well so, um, time to start shooting. Here we go, a bit more dyno time.
Well, look at that, gains across the board in the mid-range here. Well, sorry, at 3,500 RPM, there's about 40 extra brake horsepower, so that'll be lovely. So we end today on just shy of 210 brake and 213 foot-pound of torque. What a beautiful car it is. I'm impressed. Those wheels look lush. Yep, well done. <laughs> Fast.